welcome to Storyboard That for week three in teaching FL to young learners, or if you're taking another course and you're using Storyboard That, this will help you as well. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your teacher account by clicking on it. Here we are. Next, um, I'm a teacher. Keep my account. Or if you're a student, you can change that. Next, you're going to create a storyboard that. Wait for it to come up. Now, notice what you have here. First of all, you need to give it a title. I'm going to call it The Country Cat. All right. And then um, continue. This is for teachers, of course, uh, who want to create a story. Next, I'm going to look for something outdoors. Okay, so I think uh, this would be nice. Let me choose this one. I'm just going to pull it there. You saw what I did. If you missed it, I just dragged this into my canvas in the center. Next, I'm going to get characters. So I've got my scene. Next are characters, and my characters are um, cats. So let me go into characters. Notice here you have everything that you need for your plot. You've got your scenes. You've got characters, items, bubbles for the conversations, and everything that you need is right here. So we're going to go into characters. Now notice you've got teens. You've got different characters here listed. Uh, you've got adults, uh, and that is over here. You can read all this, but I'm looking for more since I'm looking for an animal as my character. So let me go back here and go into more. Under more, I've got animals. All right, so let me click on animals, and then I get all these animals, and I'm looking for a cat. All right, so here's a cat. Let me just pull that in here. And there is my cat. Now, my cat can do different things, just like any of the characters. Notice there are different poses. My cat can be lying down. It could be walking. It could be uh, licking its paws or just standing up. up. Okay, or back there. So let me um, go into this one here. Or maybe walking. We'll get walking. You can change things. And of course, you can change the colors uh, there. I've got different colors here. Um, there, I can have a red cat. Or I can have a black one with a red at the bottom there. Or, okay. And then we can also um, update the pose. There we go. So we've got our cat. We can also minimize the cat, make it smaller or larger. All right, so now we're going to go into scenes because I'd like um, to add another scene. And this time I would like somewhere outdoors and not in the house. So let's go into more. And notice we've got outdoor, close-up, mythical, patterns, country. All right, so let's go into country and rustic. Okay, so we've got the countryside now. Uh, let's uh, take this camp here. And there is the cat. You can see the cat is at the camp. Might want to make the cat smaller. All right, so we click on the cat and we can make it smaller. And then the cat could be walking around. Okay, there we go. And there is the cat nearby, not on the fire. Okay. So we can start a story. We've got two scenes. Okay, that's for now. We can also edit the scene, change the colors of different things. Okay, of our tent, we might want to have a red tent or the fire, of course. The tent we might want to have. Notice I'm looking over here in case you missed that. Lots of work here. Students love it. Teachers may find it time consuming, but Students do not. They love doing all these things. So for the tent, maybe I'll make it a purple tent. Okay, I can change the color to green. That kind of blends in with the environment or blue. Or I can go into a file picker and have different colors. Okay, in between colors. Okay, so whatever color we wish to have. 
Okay, again with a fire tube, we can change the color of the fire by making it that color or a green fire, whatever you wish, blue. Okay, or you can go to the file picker and just change it as as you wish. And then you can have different colors for the fire. Okay, or you can go back to the original and make it red as it was. Okay. So you play around with it, and now, once you're done with that, uh, let's go on, and, um, okay, we've done everything we could, so now we're going to save and edit, because we want the storyline. Oh, we forgot the bubbles. Okay, add bubbles, and then you'll have your text there as well. The cat saying something, or you can have another person there. It's up to you. All right, so let's save and exit. Okay, so now we're saving, so we'll wait. And now it's going to bring us here. Okay, we only have two and not three. That looks very, very poor. All right, so next what we're going to do, and notice, okay, we want to share it and add our voices, of course. So we're going to go to All Options down here. View All Options. Click on that, and then we get this. Notice what's available here. We can record audio. We can embed after we change the privacy, of course. And we can also uh, do any of the other things that are available here. And there are quite a few of them, so take a look and explore. Notice what's at the top here. Okay, you can add different things and then you can also download as these various things and share it elsewhere. So we're going to go into the privacy, change privacy, because right now we can't embed because it's private. You can't possibly embed things that are private. So we're going to make it public. So we're going to change the privacy over here by going into that change privacy and now we can have notice all these options very private okay this is important for students uh, shared with class assignment or public i'm going to opt for public click on that and now it's public now that it's public let's go back to view all options and we're going to record our audio we forgot about that start recording and tell a story okay so here we add our information we need to allow it every visit or just this time i'm going to add every visit because i trust storyboard that we can also add comments and other people will add comments too now we're going to record start recording after we record a story, we're going to go back to View All Options, click on that, and then we're going to change privacy. Now, make sure that you make it public, otherwise you won't be able to embed, and we want you to embed your story. Going to go into Privacy, make sure that it's public. Okay, select Public right here. And now it's public. Now that it's public, we're going to go back into View All Options, go into Embed, which is right here. There it is. There's Embed. We're going to click on it, Copy Embed, and embed it in our course. Let me just make sure that we embedded it. Okay, we're going to copy the course, the code snippet, as it's called. Copy it. Now we're going to close, going to go back into the... Here I am in the course. Next, I'm going to go to tool. This is how we embed everything, and it's to everybody's benefit that you embed everything so that we can view everything straight from the course and we don't have to go out anywhere. So click on source and then paste the code. There it is. Storyboard that. Paste it. And that's it. That's what it looks like. Here it is. It's pasted. And then, of course, post to forum. And then you have it right here. Let me open it up so you can see the cat. And here it is, made with storyboard that.
make sure that you have more than two slides. You need at least three for it to appear. Otherwise, you'll have a blank slide. In any case, uh, you need to have more than three slides for any story. Thank you for watching Story Storyboard That. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment box below. Or if you're in the course under support, we'll be happy to help.